You're watching Backyard Tech. Some of my viewers are probably well aware of this fact. Others may not be. Old mate made a conscious decision some months ago that I was yet again giving up on Unix and had become disillusioned with it after problems. Some viewers will know what I'm talking about. However, an active member of the Backyard Tech community of late has uh, challenged old mate to try and install a desktop into FreeBSD 13. I've got a funny feeling this is going to be an utter peb cake snafu foobar video. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, okay, so a fairly active recent member of the Backyard Tech community, Caleb Squires, has challenged old mate to see if I can install a desktop environment into FreeBSD 13, which I was not aware it was out, after all, I'm not following Unix anymore after being, after becoming yet again disillusioned by it due to circumstances. Nevertheless, though, I'm prepared to take up the challenge. Now, old mate's going to do the easy, lazy GUI install, meaning I'm going to use one of my favorite desktop environments across the board, XFCE. Now, I've got to be honest, I didn't know FreeBSD 13 was out because I'm not following the Unix side of things anymore. And uh, when I was told, I'm like, what the? You're kidding me. So, one person's going to be happy I'm taking up the challenge. Another viewer is going to be happy because we're actually going to do this on my Promox, Proxmox, whatever you want to call it, box as well. I've just turned it on. I'm just waiting for it to fire up now. Now, I admit, right off the meat of the bat, this is going to be a peb cake. So if you don't want to watch it, don't watch it because I'm not dealing in Unix anymore. I'm not even, once I fix the E server, I am probably just going to drop Solaris on it and use it for my own stuff, whatever I decide to use it for. But working with Unix and running Unix is never, ever going to happen here at the Backyard Tech Channel ever again. And a few people know exactly why. So, for a Saturday morning here at the Backyard Tech Channel, let's watch Old Mate make a complete peb cake situation of installing XFCE into FreeBSD 13. Let's get into it. Alrighty. Now, I'm doing this in on my main Windows PC for this one, but that'll be fine. So, let's start that. Move that into the center of the screen. Let's stretch that out. Now this is going to be a bit slow because it is coming off the Pro Proxmox box. I got into trouble for calling it Promox, so we'll call it Proxmox. All right, now what I've done here is just grab the entire FreeBSD, so the whole disk one ISO. All right, I'm not worrying about net inst because it'll take too long. If you're running on a managed network, please ask your network administrator for the choose the host name for this machine. Uh, FBSD 13 GUI. I know, I, I can't think of a better name this morning. Okay. We don't want the debugging. We want the ports tree, source tree. Um, the 
that'll be enough. Um, auto, use the entire disk. Theoretically, I should use that, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to do an MBR on it because I, it's just easy this morning. Yeah, that'll do it. Commit. It's just easier if you grab the whole ISO rather than just a net inst. It's marginally quicker. It's funny because I was thinking before, if I don't really want to be in Windows now, unless I'm recording a video, but if I really don't want to be in Windows, I can actually use ESXi in one of my permanent VMs to connect to the Proxmox box and do it that way. I suppose the less I have to use Windows day in and day out, probably marginally the better. Fourth coffee of the morning. Hey, Amiga God. <laughs> Fourth one. I, I, I got to tell you, viewers, I don't know how this is going to go. Believe you me, I really don't know how this is going to go. Someone will be having a dummy spit of the way I've set this up. They always do. You don't do that with FreeBSD. This is probably the last time you're going to see Unix per se in its truest form being used. Because old mate has just about... I've had enough now. I'm sick of people telling me how to use it rather than letting me use it in my own fashion. Or doing with it what I want to do with it can't do that you have to do it this way you have to do this you have to use this i don't want to use that but you know i think when, once i get the e server back up and running i'm just going to use freaking solaris and be done with it all right okay yep yes Yes. I need to clean up the DSCP table. Okay, now, someone's going to have a dummy spit with me over this because I'm not doing IPv6. Frankly, this morning, I can't be bothered. So I'm going to say no because I don't want to use IPv6. I have no need to at the moment. Yes. Yes. Time is right. Okay. Now. Theoretically, I should be doing a full custom of this, but I honestly can't... Oh, I forgot to turn the volume down on the amp. I wondered why I could hear myself back. Um, theoretically, I should do this as a... Let me just get that out of the road a moment. I should really do this... And that but I'm not going to what you're supposed to do theoretically is you're supposed to have local caching validation resolver and at least one of these and that which was 
which would probably be the proper way of doing it. Old mate can't be stuffed this morning, so we're just going to do it like that. Okay. Now, I'm having to do this for memory, all right? Uh, high processors running in jails, high processors running as other users. Yes. Yes. Clean that on a reboot. Disable send mail service. I don't want send mail. Enable console password prompt. Yes. Disallow D-trace destructive mode. hide the jail because I'm not going to be using jails. Yeah, I know. I've got to use jails. I'm not going to bother. Um, disable D-trace destructive mode. Honestly, I don't know how to do this now. I am so far removed from setting Unix up now that I can't remember what the hell to do. Um, yeah, I will disallow it. I'm probably not supposed to, but I will. Would you like to add? Yes. Now, just um, just bear with me a tick, will you? All right. So it's going to bolt boot bolt boot multi-user mode for the purposes of this what did it get? 114 yes I know I'm using IPv4 you're all screaming at me for doing that okay so what we want to do here supposed to use nano I'm supposed to use VI I want nano Hang on. PK 
KG. Yes. PKG PKG update Yes Alright, yes Yes PKG install nano. Yes. I love people who get stuck into me because I use nano. <laughs> Don't use nano, that is a crap text editor. Okay, fixed that problem. All right. Now what I need to do is go PKG install XFCE. Okay, so it's PKG install XFCE. Yes. Okay, we'll let this go off and then download and install, and then we'll be back. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. That's really bad. Now I know my internet's all right, so it's not my internet that's the problem. It's the free BSD 13 AMD 64 latest light, uh, repo that seems to be slow. Let's try that again, shall we? Yes. I told you this would be a peb cake. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. I'm not. I'm just doing this challenge from uh, because Caleb asked me to. I'm, I'm certainly not doing this for fun. But it is a bit of a worry that the repo keeps timing out. You can see how slow my internet is there too. There's 200 and, there's 234 packages. I've got some of them, the first few, and now I've got to get the rest of them. So this is obviously going to take a little bit of time. So we'll do this in a two-parter. We'll get it all set up and get it all coded, and then the second part we'll, we'll sort it out and see if I can actually do it. Guaranteed I can't. I'll mark this up. So I've got to set the uh, XDM for both root and user.
this can it's gonna take a while isn't it I will add and there goes Wayland I will add some other packages before we boot into the GUI so they're already there um, I don't even know whether they're I, I don't even know where well no I doubt it because GBSD is not using Octo PKG anymore I really need to fire up GBSD and see what the GUI is and whether or not it's in the repo for FreeBSD. It probably is, but I'm not sure. You can see how slow it is, I mean. It's really slow. The repo is ridiculous. This is why I don't set up, I avoid setting FreeBSD up over a network because sometimes the repos you're pulling it from are slow repos. Nine times out of ten, that's because old mates made a total peb cake of the repo and hasn't done it properly, but... Also, Proxmox's box isn't a high-performance box either, so that's probably not helping the situation. cut the video here and uh, once we're closer towards the 229 <laughs> we'll come back okay I made a stuff up there um, there are two packages I forgot to install before actually firing off the XFC install and that's XORG and XDM so I've actually restarted the install of it all and um, I've gone for a PKG install, XORG, XDM, and XFCE this time. Um, I've completely forgot about XORG and XDM. So I'm installing them along with um, XFCE, but the biggest problem I've got at the moment is the XFCE install keeps timing out. Um, I don't know why, whether the repo's getting slammed, or they're in the midst of updating the repo, um, you can see there my internet isn't exactly hammering along. Um, I'm downloading, you know, I just did a speed test and I'm getting 53 down, um, 21 up. But as you can see there, I'm only coming down at 1.9. So it's not exactly flying by any stretch of the imagination. It's actually very slow for some reason. I know the other half's not even using the internet at the moment either, so, and I've got nothing open. So I'm not sure what the problem is. Um, but yeah, I forgot, you can see there, XORG server and uh, XDM, I completely forgot to install them. Um, and that's my fault. So what I've ended up doing is, um, restarting it again and um, I control C to, and as you can see there we're back up to 259 packages to get um, there's X display info um, X cursor generation X consoles going in X calc is going in as well so um, yeah a little bit of a peb cake situation here <laughs> um, that's my fault as I said, I've walked away from Unix. I'm not dealing in it anymore. I'm not even uh, interested in using it here at Backyard Tech. I do use GBSD, but that's just when I can't be stuffed using a Linux distro, I get onto my GBSD install. Um, but that's about it. I don't actually, I'm not using OBSD, FBSD, NBSD, whatever you want to call it anymore. I'm just, I'm just going to stick with the operating systems I know and love. And uh, I made the decision. Here we go. This is where it's timing out. Is um, with this. So I don't know what's up with the repo, but we'll uh, we'll get this video done. 
and then hopefully I get time later to build up that uh, other PC that I need to build up and need to build today so anyway we'll continue to see what happens well finally 14 restarts of PKG install and utterly ridiculous the timeouts were just beyond a joke <laughs> so finally it's now installing I keep, getting, I keep forgetting to get rid of that thing um, we have 349 packages to install so that's Xorg, XDM and obviously XFCE4 um, someone suggested the whisker menu I'm not going to bother with that I just want to get a bare bones XFCE install done on this and I've got to do it for both root and user by the way I think it crashed out three times just trying to get Thuna. So. At least it installs quickly. <laughs> it's taking less time to install everything than it is to download it all. <coughs> this is one of the ones I had to restart multiple times to make sure it actually did get. Um, in, in at least download and install properly. Samba four eight one two. Samba forty eight. Oh, okay. See, I'm not dealing in Unix anymore. I've I've walked away from it now, as I've said, because I'm so disillusioned and disheartened by it. I use GhostBSD, but I certainly won't be doing any other Unix stuff here at Backyard Tech. I am utterly disillusioned and um, everything by it. Um, you know, people getting into me because I, was, I wasn't using the e-server per what they wanted me to do with it. Um, I wanted to use it for my own purposes and people didn't like it and I just got fed up and bit the bullet and said right well that's it you buggers win I'm not using it anymore so once if I ever get the parts I'm waiting for which is looking less and less likely lately um, I might just fire it up and drop Solaris 11 Express on it and just muck around in it for my own purposes. It along with my V490. Um, and that way I'm not having people demanding that I do coding and application building and all this type of crap, which honestly does not interest me. I, I've, I've, I've preferred to use hardware all my life. That installed quicker than it did... Uh, it did download okay so now what I've got to do is the Xorg configuration no, I'm not even going to bother with that because I'm not using any video cards or 3D rendering um. No, I'm not going to bother with the fonts. Okay, so. Installed XDM. 
Okay, XDM can be configured to run when the machine boots up by editing this entry in etc. Okay, so cd slash uh, etc and I need to go to ttys Okay, it is recording. <laughs> okay, so uh, I need to go to TTYS and it is TTYV8. There it is. So user local bin XDM dash no daemon off secure change off to on oh okay on okay control x yes 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 C. <sighs> Control O. Mm. And on Control C. Control X. Y. Yes. Okay, finally. Okay, so now what I've got to do is go down to the XFCE configuration, which I've done. First create, okay, so I've got to create, I don't know whether this will allow me to do it, no it doesn't, okay, I didn't think it would, okay, so we need to go, echo, Slash, oh, hang on. Echo dot slash, oh, hang on, dot slash USR local ETC XDG. I'm reading this from the thing O XF. CE4 XINITRC XINITRC X uh, dot X sessions Oh no dot X INITRC unmatched. Ah, oh, Struth. What have I done? Ah. Oh.
try X sessions then. Whoa. Hang on a minute. Okay, finally. Now. Um, what's the next thing I've got to do? You know what? I'm going to reboot this. do this the lazy way. I'm going to do this the very lazy way. Configure XDM. Hang on.
mod wheel dash Try that again. If this doesn't work, I give up. Now, 
I give up. I'm not. Yeah, no. Nah. That's it. I quit. I'm walking away officially from Unix. I'm not using it. I will use GBSD for my own stuff, but that's the end of Old Mate and Unix here at Backyard Tech. Stick around, system build coming up later. Have a good one. Cheers.